hey guys welcome back to my channel today's video is gonna be a little different it's gonna be not really different I'm just doing a collective haul of things that I picked up during the Sephora VIB sale and then some things that I picked up from Ulta and from Target I didn't have enough products to film a Sephora VIB haul separately so I thought I would just include it in this vlog I did pick up a few things during the Sephora VIB sale but honestly there were a lot of things that I returned because I was like I just don't need this like I have enough stuff in here and so I don't want to just start over buying you know what I mean so a lot of stuff I took back but I kept the things that I really really needed and the things that I really wanted to try so I'm gonna share them with you today in this video a couple products I did use on my face today so we're gonna start with um, a couple of perfumes that I picked up I picked up two travel size perfumes and the first one is by the seven virtues this is in vanilla woods and it's a roller ball you guys see that this is it this is the packaging really really pretty and this smells really nice now I did have to let this sit on my skin a little bit but once it's settled in it just smells really nice you guys know yes vanilla is like one of my favorite scents so I picked this up and I am so glad that I did. The next perfume that I picked up was by Nest. This is the Turkish Rose and I got this in the travel size as well. Now this is also a roller ball. You guys know I'm more of a, I don't really like roller balls, but you know, this is what it is. But this is something that the lady in Sephora was talking to me about and she allowed me to try it and it smells it smells really good it's different for me because I wouldn't go for this kind of scent but I really really do like it yeah I'm sorry if my lip is coming off like <laughs> like it's popping but I tried to tone it down as much as I could but this is what we're working with but anyway I really do like this Turkish rose and I really like to use this while my once I get out the shower and my skin is still a little damp I like to roll this on at different places and then I like to go on top with my Fenty Beauty uh, body butter smells amazing like so I'm loving this and speaking of Fenty Beauty I did pick up a refill of the Fenty skin butter drop whipped whipped oil body cream and I've already been using it this is the empty refill so I just popped this out of the um, container and refilled it with the other one, which is in here. And I've already been using this. Oh, this smells so good. So I love this. So I had to pick up another one during the sales. I picked up a Patrick Ta lipstick, which is what I'm wearing today. It's in she's not from here and i think this is a beautiful color i'm still trying to figure out the best way to wear this but comment down below and let me know how this lip looks because to me it's kind of coming off on camera like really vibrant which i do like i just don't want it to come off looking crazy but the, this is the packaging which you guys know patrick todd's packaging is very nice and then this is the lipstick and I'm not gonna swatch it because again I have it on but I think this is a really nice lipstick it's very nice very creamy not drying on the lips at all and doesn't tug on the lips I really really like this very nice formula and then I picked up the Huda Beauty uh, legit lashes I think I told you guys that I was going to pick this up this give you this gives you dramatic curl and insane length and that's the packaging on that and I'll open it for you guys. And this is the mascara. So you got two, two sides. So um, really like this because I had the sample size of it and I fell in love with it. So I wanted to buy the full size of this. I picked up only one brush during the Sephora VIB sale and that was the Sephora Pro Brush Shadow. This is in number 15.
and I thought these would this brush would be good for my creams and stuff to apply like on my eyes so I'm gonna go ahead and open it really nice brush so love that and then the last three products that I got from Sephora are brow products um, you guys know my favorite two is by benefit this is the precisely my brow pencil I got two of them in the shade uh, number six cool soft black and this is my favorite brow pencil of all time so I just needed to replenish these and then I wanted to try the Urban Decay brow blade and it has a pencil on one side and then an ink stain on the other and I got this in blackout and I did use it on my brows today I use the pencil to outline my brows and then I use the ink stain to kind of define the, the front. And um, so far so good. I, I really like um, how it turned out. But this is the packaging of that. If you guys have used this brow pencil, let me know down in the comments how you like it. But so far so good. I mean, honestly, I wish that it had a spoolie because you have to have to grab another brow product to get a, um, you know, the spoolie. To brush my brows and stuff um, but this is how it looks like I said it has the ink stain here on the one end and then you have the actual pencil on the other end we'll see I'll continue to test it out and let you guys know what my final thoughts are so that's everything that I picked up during the Sephora VIB sale. Let's talk about what I got from Ulta. So I did place an order online at Ulta. They have like these little echo bags at, at Ulta. They were like $5, but they're online only. So I ordered that and then I have points because I wanted to try, I wanted to get the Dermalogica. I think it's their moisture intense moisturizer. And I had points, so I ordered that stuff online. So when that, whenever that stuff comes, I'll show you guys. Um, but the stuff that I actually picked up in store from Ulta, I only got two things in store. First one is a brush. I picked up another Real Techniques Limited Edition uh, Confident Contour Brush. This is for blush plus contour. This is the number 52 and it says filling all my feelings which has been so true for me lately i have just been filling all of my feelings lately y'all but i thought this was a really nice brush and i decided to go ahead and pick this up because i wanted to add it to my collection i just love the packaging on here this is a really nice packaging and then the last thing that i got from ota is this nyx they have these epic smoke liners with an angled liner and blender and i got mine in sage sparks let me see if i can open this but this is the packaging and i had a variety of different colors of these but the green one is what stood out to me and i will swatch it for you guys isn't that pretty how pretty is that so you have the actual liner on this side and then you have the brush on this side so i thought i would give this a try that's everything that i picked up in store at ulta and then last is the items that i picked up from a target which i didn't get much out of there either um i picked up another elf keep your balance toner because I am on my last one, so I needed to replenish this. And then the last two products that I got, I've been hearing great things about this brand and I've been seeing them in Target and I'm like, I've been wanting to try them. So I thought now was the time to try them. And that's the Verse brand. I picked up the Verse Gentle Cycle Milky Cleanser. This has oat milk plus probiotics. This is for someone that has dry skin like me and i did use this this morning um so far so good um, i will keep you guys updated as i continue to use it and then the last thing that i got from burst is their day dissolve cleansing balm and this has eucalyptus oil and vitamin e in it so this is it burst and it's just a clear clear balm but it smells really nice 
I mean, it, it, I'm not gonna say it smells really nice, but it's not, it's okay. It does kind of have like a strong scent to it. Strong eucalyptus type of scent, but it's not, it's not bad. So that's everything that I picked up. I just wanted to show you guys the things that I picked up during the support VIP sale. <laughs>